The world is on the verge of nuclear disaster in Ukraine. Fears of a nuclear catastrophe. Zaporizhia power station. Zaporizhia is completely out of control. Located in the city of Enerhodar in the south of Ukraine, Zaporizhia nuclear power plant has provided power to 30% of the country. The plant has a total capacity of about 6,000 megawatts. That's enough to power about 4 million homes. Well, that was before March 4th, 2022. That's the date when the hostile shells hit close to the plant for the first time, and the Russian military invaded it, taking the entire staff hostage. This satellite imagery now shows Russian troops positioned inside the plant perimeter. Since then, the Russian military has tightened the grip over its facilities, though all of them remain operated by Ukrainian staff. To make things worse, they clamped down on the plant personnel. One of its workers was actually bitten down to death by a Russian soldier. Suffering massive losses in the field, occupiers are weaponizing the nuclear plant. According to Russian official plans, the facility is to be annexed to power the earlier occupied Crimea and soon must be connected to the Crimea power grid. It was their plan to destroy the Ukrainian connecting lines and after that power the plant from occupied Jankoy as a solution. To do so, they would need to connect Zaporizhia NPP to the Russian energy grid. Apart from that, the territory of the NPP is transformed into a military base for the Russian troops. Russian forces also packed the spot with their weapons explosives, and military hardware. Russia is now using the plant as a military base to fire at Ukrainians. We know for sure that they mined the part of the plant that borders the Kahovka reservoir. Plus, they positioned their equipment inside the first and the second engine rooms. This is an obvious act of a nuclear terrorism. It all causes an enormous fire hazard. So if it all detonates, it's going to set a fire to the reactors and blow them up. The plant has a protected status, so Ukrainian forces can't attack it, and Russia is doing nothing by taking advantage, shelling Ukrainian cities and killing civilians. The city of Nikopol, right across on the other bank of the Dnipro River, is being shelled the worst these days. As if it weren't bad enough, Zaporizhia NPP, controlled by the Russian military, is literally a powerful tool for worldwide nuclear threat open nuclear blackmail. And these six nuclear units together with stored nuclear waste gives solid ground for that. One of the latest shellings almost hit the nuclear containers causing fire. If at least one container is hit, it can cause an enormous radiation leak. The thing is that there are 170 such containers there. Nuclear waste is also stored there in concrete containers and metal baskets inside. The fuel is inside those baskets. One, two or three missiles can destroy the lids hidden the fuel. If it happens, the consequences will be equal to those of hitting the reactor. Strikes are getting closer and have already damaged some critical parts of the sprawling nuclear complex. According to reports, Russian occupiers have mined the turbines, while their artillery keeps shelling the nuclear plant site, saying it is Ukraine to blame. No such country in the world can feel safe when a terrorist state fires at a nuclear power plant. What is clear is that any accident at the power plant could have catastrophic consequences. Russian Federation even asked for the official meeting of the UN Security Council, saying they had invaded independent Ukraine, occupied the Ukrainian nuclear power plant, and won't leave it since they're protecting it from terrorist attacks. The diplomatic rebuff was clear and straightforward. We once again call on Russia to cease all military operations at or near Ukraine's nuclear facilities. 42 countries have demanded that Russia demilitarize the Zaporizhia nuclear power plant, according to a joint statement. Some infrastructure of the nuclear plant has already been damaged. If the water stream suffers disruption, the reactors could lose cooling and the fuel will start melting and can explode, sending out a radiation cloud. The actions of Russian occupiers can be predicted, but the way of the radioactive cloud is absolutely not. It can go anywhere, hidden any part of Europe and even far beyond it. Zaporizhia NPP is located in the middle of the continent, so it'd be a play of luck for all of us, and the scale of the potential threat would overtake the tragedies of Fukushima or Chernobyl ten times over. Russian propaganda is also claiming that Ukraine stored nuclear fuel like plutonium and enriched uranium at this plant to produce nuclear weapons. 
Ukraine could not produce plutonium or enriched uranium for nuclear weapons. We do not have such technologies. Moreover, they are forbidden for us. Furthermore, the Hiroshima's bomb had only one kilo of nuclear material. Tons of that are really huge amount. It's just impossible. Nuclear terrorism is a typical strategy to plunge the world in fear. Just recall Chernobyl occupied by Russians in March, or Russian missiles almost scratching the South Ukraine nuclear power plant in June. We should not forget that there are nuclear power plants in the European Union as well, and accidents are also possible there. All of this wouldn't be happening if Russia just weren't there in the first place. And the sooner we stop Russia, the sooner Europe and the world will be able to feel safe again. Thank you. Now, when we're telling you this, the nuclear plant is under fire again.